Good morning, guys. Just got done with our morning chores. You see the cows are milked. Uh, and basically, we're just going to have a three-minute Thursdays with the Max. guys today we're going to be talking a little bit about a special tool that we use in our garden in which most of you probably use as well but uh, it's the broad fork basically what is a broad fork a broad fork is basically a, a tool that we use to aerate our soil um, it allows us to penetrate deep within our soil beds uh, in our garden but also uh, not hurt them uh, when we use our tiller or our disc we are we are trying to break up ground but once we establish that ground as a garden spot, if it be a cottage garden or a market garden, our goal is to make sure that we're adding that lasagna method where we're adding more and more organic matter, biomass, compost, manure, whatever it may be, to that soil to make a better quality soil. Well, what the broad fork does is it allows us to penetrate and loosen the soil, but not flip it upside down to where we're causing issues with our soil inhabitants. If we use our, t our tiller or our disc all the time, then basically we're breaking up what all the work we've put into that soil to make it what it is. So if we're going through and we're rototilling that back up, all those things, those nutrients, those microorganisms, the fungus, the bacteria that's helping the soil quality get better underneath for our plants to grow, you're bringing it back to the top to get aerated. Air is great. That's what this tool is used for. It's used to penetrate the ground, to aerate the ground, but also do it in a way that's not, not as harmful as what a tiller or disc would do. So, so not only adding air to the soil, you're able to open it up to where you can get water and more nutrients to it as you add new compost, new topsoil. So a great tool to have around uh, the house. Uh, we actually love ours uh, because of its ergonomic design. Um, you would think that this would be a, a hard tool to do. But you know, the more that you add to your, your soil, the more that you add to your garden, your, your garden seems to be soft. So if you're preparing and prepping your gardens with the silage tarps like we do, um, it keeps your soil very moist. So when you add that next layer, um, before you do it, you can use this tool and it's, it's not hard at all. Um, to me, if you're trying to use this in hard ground or brand new ground like this, I mean, it would almost be impossible. But when you get your garden worked and you start using this tool, uh, it's so easy to use. Um, it's no issue. I mean, my kids could use it, my wife could use it. And because it helps you with uh, the way it's built with the, uh, the edges at the bottom, it pretty much does all the work for itself. Yeah. Uh, you get it in the ground and you pull up and pretty much you've got exactly what it's supposed to be doing. Making differences in your soil quality, aerating your soil and putting water and nutrients a little bit deeper in those lasagna levels without tearing it upside down uh, and hurting your soil inhabitants with a tiller. So I hope you enjoyed this segment of Three Minutes with the Max. Uh, if you've not subscribed to us, please do. Uh, if you like our videos, tell us. Uh, again, we love to uh, have conversations with you because we learn so much from your comments. And also, thank you so much. God bless. Happy homesteading, y'all.